Hello, my name is Tennille Hope Realbird. I'm a Harvard University Native American program intern for the summer. I'm a part of the secondary school program at Harvard. I'm currently a senior in high school. I represent the Nakoda and White Clay tribes with Crow descendancy. And today we're going to be interviewing people to see what they know about Native Americans here on Harvard campus. Hello, my name is Summer Hubbard. I am 17 and a rising senior. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and I represent the Navajo Nation tribe. I am currently a secondary school Harvard student, and I am interning for the summer at the Harvard Native American program. And today, me and Tennille are going to go around and interview people on what they know about Native Americans and the Harvard program. Okay, so right now me and Tanil are trying to find American Harvard students, which is rather hard to do during the summer on and a on Friday. a Friday. Excuse me, I'm Tanil. Lauren. Lauren, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Catherine. Nice to meet you. John, nice to meet you. My name is Matthew Vigari. I'm Melissa. I'm Eloisa. What is your occupation? I work for Cambridge Historical Tours. I am a performer as well as the educational outreach director for us. Um, I'm taking organic chemistry. And you work where, you said? Information technology department. Information technology department. Uh, so I did my LLM here, so it's basically an advanced law degree, so master's in law. I am taking Shakespeare and the French Revolution. Cool. We're actually both studying philosophy of mind and brain sciences. So it's a, it's a look at the sort of genealogy of, of mind, as well as today's um, scientific view of it. Yes, me. Are you a Harvard student? I am not a Harvard student. Okay. Go to Brown. Um, well, I went to Dartmouth and I'm transferring to Brown. How long have you lived here or in that area? Uh, I don't. I commute in every single day from north, north of Boston for how many years? Um, I've been working for Cambridge Historical Tours since January when we first started. I am an original company, uh, company uh, member. Where are you from? I'm from Belgium, actually. I've been here since last August. Where are you from? Philadelphia. Four weeks? Four weeks? Mm -hmm. Okay, and where are you originally from? Arizona. Illinois. <laughs> so, I had a question. What do you think a Native American looks like? But Some, think? Someone of, of Native descent. Whole oh, feather head, feather ear. Um, I don't really know too much the way they dress, nothing about their personalities besides the men being very dominant. I, I don't really know how to define. Um, I mean, they can look like a lot of different things because, um, like, well, a lot, uh, I mean, I definitely have a friend who, like, I wouldn't have necessarily known from Native American because, um, like, I mean, she, she looks, like, mostly white, but, um, I don't know, I guess, um, I don't think there's, like, any one way that you can, like, describe what someone, what they would look like. I'm here for one year and nobody's even bothered to talk to me about this. Yeah. This has just not come up, which is actually weird. <laughs> That they live in teepees, casinos on large reserves, which is actually, to be honest, is somewhat true. I would say like homeschool. I believe these things, but like things like rituals, you know what I mean? Uh, praying to many gods, things like that. Stigma that Native American people are like, lazy, um, uneducated. But do you know any Native American? Yeah, actually, Dartmouth has a really big. Um, well, Dartmouth was founded as like a way to like. Um, extend education to Native Americans. So Dartmouth, to this day, has a very um, big Native American student population. Um, yes. How many? Uh, quite a few in my part of you. Yeah. In the area? Um, in some of the surrounding areas, as well as I went to school up in New Hampshire, so I met some up there as well. No, actually. No? no. None at all? None. None? Yeah. No. Or I've gone to like reserves and I've like met them, but oh, I haven't, really? I don't have, I wouldn't say that I have a friend, any friends who are Native Americans. Do you know any federally recognized tribes in the United States? Um, I have driven through some um, Native American um, establishments, but I, I don't, I wouldn't know necessarily. Um, Cherokee. I'm not sure it actually this coming to mind. It was in Chester, Pennsylvania. I don't remember what it was called. There was, some, there was a lot of horses. I remember there being a lot of horses. Mm -hmm. And uh, the people were really nice. Uh, yeah, they weren't wearing like clothes that we would wear. Here, he, <laughs> Sue. Uh, this is embarrassing. Uh, Iroquois. Seminole? 
one. Have you ever watched a movie with Native Americans portrayed in them? I actually haven't. I was just thinking, I'm like, the uh -huh. only, only Native American <laughs> movie I've seen was like Pocahontas. Pocahontas. <laughs> and that's not even like a real movie. <laughs> no? Yeah. Alright. Not even Pocahontas? <laughs> Pocahontas. There you go. Uh, and I've seen like some of those like spaghetti westerns where they battle the Indians, cowboys and Indians kind of thing. Uh, Does Harvard University have a Native American program? I would assume so, but I do not know. Um, I don't. I don't actually know that much about like Harvard. I don't think so. I would. Okay. My guess would be no. I got the backbone of I guess campus life definitely. Uh -huh. um, then again, I never see them around or not. Even if I did, I wouldn't even know. Yeah. Well, I'm Native American, okay. so you met your first Native American today. Congrats. I don't know about that. I wouldn't have a clue. They certainly have made lots of publicity telling me, you know, that they do. So I'm not sure. Definitely no. My name is Shelley Lowe. I'm the Executive Director of the Harvard University Native American Program. I'm Navajo from Ganado, Arizona, and I am not a stereotype. My name is Jason Pacano, and I'm the Community Coordinator for the Harvard University Native American Program. I'm Mandan Hadatsa Rikara and Hamas Laguna Pueblo and I'm not a stereotype. My name is Adrian Keen. I am a fourth year doctoral student at the Harvard Graduate School of Education, as well as the resident doctoral fellow at the Harvard University Native American Program. I'm a citizen of the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma, and I am not a stereotype. My name is Darren Lowe. I am Navajo. I am 15 years old, and I am not a stereotype. I am Tenille Hope Realbird. I represent the Nakota, White Clay, and Crow people. I'm not a stereotype. My name is Summer Hubbard. I represent the Navajo Nation tribe. I am not a stereotype. I don't live in a teepee. I am not homeschooled. I still have my cultural ways, but I'm still modern. I do not wear feathers. I don't sing colors of the wind. I am not an alcoholic. I'm not confined to the limits of my reservation. I am not a warrior. My grandmother was not an Indian princess. I am not lazy. I can get into college. But I cannot get into any college just by checking the American Indian box. I am better used to you alive than dead. My tribe is not just a casino. I am a real Indian. I am an Indian.